Hey everyone, it is Sparkle and welcome back to my channel. I came on to give you guys an update on my dining area. Y'all know I've been working on it and also I made a few changes, just tweaked it a little bit. Um, I was also able to save a dollar and what I mean by save a dollar is I did not spend any money you know, to make these small changes, except for um, the two new purchases that y'all saw. I have a video on that. But what I did, um, I shot my home. And like I said, I just tweaked, you know, a few things in here. So I'm going to start off over here with the mirror that you see. What I did with the mirror, y'all, I just brought it down a little bit. Well, a lot. I brought it down a lot. So um, I think it does make a huge difference. This mirror over here. And that's from Home Goods. Um, everything over here that you see in this corner is from Home Goods, um, except for the stand. The stand came from Bill's Outlet, but like all the other stuff that's on it is from Home Goods. But that's what I did, y'all. I brought the mirror down. And if y'all remember the picture from Hobby Lobby, um, I put it over here um, in this space. Now I wanted to, and I'm still debating if I need to, um, you know, just get something, another picture that's a little bigger. Okay, so I just put it over there. And then this, y'all know, this is my new purchase, the bar cabinet. And I brought out this mirror. This mirror was in my guest bathroom. It was in my guest bathroom. So I put it over here. And um, when I had this picture over where the mirror is, I said that I didn't like it because it, you know, it showed a reflection of, um, the outside and then it kind of took away from the picture like the actual print that's on the picture so um that's why i put the mirror over here because i was like i didn't mind you know it's a mirror you know it can reflect the outside and i'm okay with that so i did that and y'all know my new purchase is the plant so um, once again, I shot my home. Um, I was talking about getting, you know, um, a pot, you know, like a planter, something like that. Cause I wanted the plant to be higher, but, um, outside on my balcony, I had forgot. I was like, well, shoot, I said, I can use these. And these are from Walmart. Um, I bought the plant stand from Walmart and, the uh, planter pot came from Walmart. I bought these back in 2020. So I just had them outside. So yeah, I didn't have to spend any money. Um, the inside, I just added some moss. I used like uh, a plastic bag and then I put the moss on top of it, even though the plant did come with moss and, you know, inside um, the pot. But I just went ahead and just put the moss, my own moss on top. But yeah, so how about that? Walmart already had it. And I don't remember how much the plant stand was. Um, it might have been like $7. I remember it was real cheap because I got two of them. It was really inexpensive. Okay, but it's, it's good quality. Um, so I don't mean to say cheap, but. It was, um, yeah, it was very um, inexpensive, affordable, you know, and yeah, I love it. It's an iron plant stand. Now, at first, I did have this one, but this one was too tall, you know. That's from Walmart also. Um, yeah, I had bought that. Yeah, all this stuff I had bought back in 2020. And... I had bought three of these 
and they were 12 they were like 12 dollars at the time you probably still can find it at walmart um i don't know if the price has changed but yeah so i really like this one over there but it was just too tall it was just too tall so i decided to go with this one so that is my update and I am, I'm loving it. Um, y'all can tell that I did fluff out the, um, the tree. I did that last night, fluffed it out, you know, just spread the leaves out more. So it is really beautiful. Um, I went back because I did put the link in the description box. Um, I'm still going to put the link in the description box, but I see that they are out of this one. This one is six foot, so I don't know when it will be back in stock, but I noticed when I clicked on a link, but I was planning on getting another one, um, that they didn't have any more. Um, they had some smaller ones. I mean, like real small ones. So I don't know when they'll be back in stock but i will still um you know post the link uh to the company in the description box it's from amazon y'all but i will still post that link because you know i'm pretty sure they will get some back in that is six foot okay so um also i wanted to share with y'all like i said i got this mirror out of my guest bathroom and with the picture, you know, I was trying to decide if I should use this picture or this wall sculpture that is from Ross. So I was going back and forth trying to decide if I should put um, this wall sculpture over here, but I decided to go with the picture because it's, you know, I didn't want to um, add any more mirrors like i just think that's enough i have a mirror the round mirror and then the mirror that's on uh the bar cabinet and then the mirror that's over here so i wanted some you know some kind of um artwork picture something just to break up um all the mirror a little bit so yeah but i was going back and forth because this is really pretty like I said, I had, um, I got it at Ross, I think like last year, it was like around Christmas, the same time that I bought, um, this mirror from Ross. And so it's, it's, it's good quality. Let me show y'all the mirror. It's good quality. If you can see that. So I really, really love this. Okay, so I wanted to share really quick, and I'm going to leave y'all alone. Um, so to clean my mirrors, let me tell y'all what I use, you know, to clean the glass, um, even my table. And I haven't cleaned, like wiped off my table. Um, I think it's been about two, three days. But listen, family dollar, family dollar. I got this. From family dollar it was a dollar fifty when I tell y'all this stuff here oh my god is everything a dollar fifty okay uh, what is it multi-purpose cleaner streak free and shine and when I tell you it does just that um, is cleaning vinegar with oxy and I have the unscented and this is what I've been using. Um, I'll put it in a bucket, you know, dilute it with some water, get me a washcloth, and I went to wiping. Then I got a dry towel. I didn't use a, um, a rag, a dry rag. I used a dry towel, something bigger, and just dry it off. When I tell y'all, it does the job. Um, I even clean my... Uh, my floor mirror that's in the living room. Um, I'm talking about did the tables. And like I said, this was like three days ago. And y'all, it's 
is shining. So yeah, so I just wanted to share that, but family dollar for a dollar 50 and y'all know vinegar and water it cleans you know what i mean it'll give you a good cleaning but this stuff here i don't know what it is um yeah i think i'm gonna run out today and just buy a few more but i love this like i really do i'm pretty sure it has some other stuff in there but i really love it Okay, so um, I'm not going to stay on too long, but this is what I was going to say. One more last thing, um, because the dining room is just, it's just about finished. Um, I don't need anything else, but I'm thinking about um, two things, two things. I'm thinking about, now this is something I'm thinking about, and I've been thinking about this for a long time, but just never did it. Um, I'm going to get an area rug for, um, you know, my dining table. Like I want to purchase an area rug, but I need to find the right one. So the way my dining area is, um, like the way it's shaped, is kind of like, I don't know if I want to go with a square area rug or around i'm not sure yet but um i am looking so that's one thing that i'm thinking about doing and uh this thing back here this shelf um i'm just gonna get like a storage cabinet you know i want something black you know but um i don't want it open you know what i mean i want it to have um, you know, like a cabinet. So, and that'll be the last thing that I'll do, you know, but yeah, I definitely want to get, um, like a nice storage cabinet just to put back here. Um, same size, but I just need it to have doors on it. So that way, um, whatever I store won't show like this stuff over here is showing. So yeah, that'll be, just about it and like i said i'm on the hunt for um an area rug but i want to get one that can go with anything so i may just go with black um yeah i may just you know just go ahead and just get black and be done with it um i can change out the picture over here you know like if i want to i can do that so those will be like the only things like later on in the future like if i want to make like little small changes um i'll take down the uh white and black curtain panels and just add some different ones up there but keep the black up there you see what i mean and then just change the picture and you know the little accent pieces and that'll be that you know, like whenever I want to change something and, you know, change the vase and all that stuff. So, yeah, but I just came on to share with that. Um, I hope y'all enjoy y'all Saturday. Um, I just been here, you know, getting stuff together. Um, so now that the dining area is finished, I guess you could say it's just about finished. Um, I'm going to start painting, you know, I'm going to paint the counter you know the counter wall and that goes into the living room um while y'all know the accent wall that i have painted so i'm just going to paint that back white it will be the same color white that is in my dining room and in my living room so that'll be the next thing and y'all we're going to move on to the balcony and that'll be that but that is it um i hope y'all enjoyed this video um i will post my recent videos in the description box because i do have a full dining room tour i'll probably do another one detailing where i got everything but y'all could check out the old one i did a few weeks ago i'll put that in the description box and um any links that i have to anything will also be in there but i will see y'all in the next video thank you for watching